Hello Aries. Cars are jumping already with the Daughter of Water there, <clears throat> which is also the Page of Cups energy. Hmm. For some of you, this is you um, welcoming in new love at this time. Uh, this reading is going to be for April 10th through April 12th for you guys, okay? Um, for others of you, this is a uh, same-sex relationship that you are concerned with. And then for some of you, um, this is a male that is viewing this reading right now. This person is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy here. Um, I feel like this person is very alluring and um, may, maybe come, comes across a little shy. It's probably the reason why they're showing up here as the Page of Cups. Or either you guys are approaching entering into love very cautiously, I feel. Okay. Then we have the Ace of Air, which is the Ace of Swords, in the reverse, though. I'm feeling that you're not really sure about this situation. Okay, whether this is a person for you or whether this is just your situation um, regarding a love situation here. Okay, you're not really sure. You're not. You're not sure of yourself. Okay, so a lot of you guys, I feel like, are you know not sure whether or not it's time to actually you know pursue a love relationship here. And then we have the Three of Grief, which is the Three of Swords, but it's also in reverse, which is good. Okay, if you haven't noticed, usually I don't do reversals, but I decided to try something new here. Okay, and I like the Three of Swords in reverse because it means that, you know, you're, you know, the residual effects of something that disappointed you is still there, but you're not harping on it. Okay, you're getting over it, and this is why you are exploring the possibility of getting to getting into another uh, love connection here. Okay, you know the effects are still there. That's why you you're not really sure about you know whether it's a good idea or not, and you really don't want to repeat cycles here. Okay, something just jumped out there. Let's see what that is. We have the sign of air which is the Knight of Swords in reverse. And I feel like this is all due, this hurt, this, this, this feeling of being unsure is due to maybe an air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like this person uh, may be very hurtful. Um, they say things and then try to take back their hurtful words later on. Okay, so this may be a situation for you where you and this this person have been, you know, in and out of cycles. You know, please show me more about the daughter of air. Please show me more about the daughter of air. We have a hanged man here. Yeah, you've been beating yourself up a lot, I feel, about this situation, okay, um, with this air energy. But not only have you been beating yourself up about this situation, um, you're also stuck, again, around whether or not it's a good idea to start another connection, a new connection. But what I'm getting is that a lot of you are definitely interested in someone here. Okay, maybe somebody that you're crushing on, um, maybe somebody that you're just attracted to, but um, you definitely, there's something that's been sparked in you. Okay, let's see, show me more about the Ace of Air. Then we have the Four of Swords in reverse. You want to be sure of yourself. You want to be sure of what it is that you're doing. I feel like, you know, 
you're, you're ready to move. You're ready to make something happen here. You're tired of sitting, being stagnant. You're tired of feeling stuck in this situation. Okay? Again, I'm feeling like, you know, you haven't forgotten the situation with this with this air energy, energy with this other person. Um, and But I feel like you've healed enough to where you are able to move on and explore new opportunities with different people. Okay? You just don't want the same things to happen that happened before with this other person. All of the, you know, the manipulation, the mental manipulation, um, feeling like, you know, you had to do things to numb yourself from feeling hurt from this person time and time again because you've been like in this damn cycle, um, this emotional roller coaster with this person, I feel. Please show me more about the Three of Swords in reverse. Then we have the High Priestess in reverse here. Hmm. I feel like there's definitely something that that you haven't dealt with with the Three of Swords energy in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. And I feel like there's definitely something that you guys feel like you need to say to someone. Like it's something that you want to get off of your chest. There's something you want to get off your chest regarding um, this other person that hurt you. Please show me more about the Son of Ear. Please show me more about the Son of Ear. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Hmm. This person, whoever this person is that hurts you so very deeply here. This is somebody that no matter what you do, you cannot please this person. You could not please this person. Mm -mm, you could not. And I'm also getting that, you know, this person has a lot of hurt inside of them that may have absolutely nothing to do with you. And you know that old adage, hurt people hurt. So I'm feeling like this is the reason why whatever this person did to you that caused you guys so much hurt and so much pain <clears throat> is because they did that because they are in pain. They have been in pain and probably for a long time for different reasons, okay? Who's coming towards Aries? Who's coming towards Aries? For the 10th through the 12th. Who's coming towards Aries? The Six of Wands. Could be a Leo for some of you. The Ten of Pentacles. Leo Virgo energy here. Hmm. Hmm. Now... I'm feeling like this person that's coming towards you, you may be actually interested in someone else here. You may be interested in someone else here. Somebody T totally different than the person that hurt you. But I'm getting that the person that hurt you is actually the one that's probably coming towards you energetically. Okay. Wanting to have a successful relationship with you guys. Wanting to wanting to have a committed relationship with you guys here. Okay, this is an attractive individual. I feel like this person is probably um, stable financially here. Yeah, this person wants to share with you. They want to share with you, but I feel like before this person probably was not giving as much to you as you were giving to them and they probably were taking a whole lot on the flip side of that and possibly giving to someone else here okay seven of swords this is somebody that snuck out on you before this is somebody that snuck out on you before 
whether they cheated on you, just lied to you, deceived you, didn't give you, you know, what you deserved in the relationship. I feel like this person's coming back. Because I'm feeling like they, they, they have seen the air in their ways, but this is a the thing. They're still upside down here. They're still upside down here. Um, so they're not standing in their element. Okay. Um, so we have Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius. Um, it could be Gemini, Libra as well. That is very strong in your reading. Also Pisces is um, very strong in your reading. Okay guys. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.